Just read you here for Window Cleaning Institute. Uh, going to take a moment today. Uh, it's that time of year. Uh, we've had some, some cold weather. Fortunately, here in Iowa, we've had some nice days too. But it's getting to that point where we're expecting another big winter storm. And uh, it's time to think about you know what we're going to be doing for alcohol in the water. Uh, so I thought I'd take a moment to talk about what we use, why we use it, why we prefer to do it, how we use it, and why we prefer that that way as well. Um, on the Window Cleaning Institute Facebook group, uh, somebody was asking about isopropyl, which uh, we we use quite extensively, uh, mainly because uh, uh, for winter time when it gets just near freezing, I can add a little of this to my uh, my pure water backpack uh, to keep the water from freezing up in there as I'm cleaning windows. So it's got a very low TDS, so I can add quite a bit of this before I have to worry about it. So it becomes kind of a dual purpose alcohol. Uh, but beyond that, um, it's readily available. Uh, I think by the time you buy, it comes in a quart, by the time I buy four quarts, it's about nine bucks a gallon. Uh, so it's uh, a hair cheaper than some of the places I bought uh, pure methanol at before. Uh, so that's kind of why we use it. It's easy, to, easy for us to pick up quickly when we need it. Uh, the other thing is that we get uh, two versions, a 70 and a 91. We get the, the higher concentrates a little bit more, but there's less water. I just I hate paying for water. Uh, and on that note, I know a lot of guys are go, hey, I use windshield washer fluid. And uh, we've done that in the past. Uh, several reasons I don't do it anymore. One, it's, you're paying for mostly water. You're paying for 75 or 80% water at best uh, in, in those, uh, in those uh, fluids. Plus, it's got a nasty soap in it, a crummy blue dye, and if, you're, if your work is anything like our work, when we're doing storefronts, some of the storefronts we're doing, they don't want all that nasty blue slush on their outside of their building. It looks horrible. Another thing is that we do insides as well, so if you've got to go inside, you're going to have to change into an, another bucket of solution, a different solution. You're going to need a new strip washer. You don't want to have all that crumminess inside. So for many reasons, there's just no benefit, from my pro point of view, to using that windshield washer fluid over a different kind of alcohol. Uh, the main thing is that what we do, instead of uh, dipping our solution right in, our strip washer right into our solution bucket, like a lot of guys will do, uh, we've gone to kind of a, a having a bottle that we carry on our, on our pouches. It's, it's easier to use that way. Plus, in this size, I can add a little bit of alcohol right into this bottle and and have a really good uh, low freezing point uh, on this on this solution that I can then apply to my strip washer as I need to. Now the other thing is when you're going around an area maybe one set of storefronts is blocked from the wind and you can use one solution strength but you go maybe move to the other side of the strip mall that you're cleaning and now what you've got is a new situation. You've got more wind it's colder, your freezing point now changes. So you either have to go back to the van and add more windshield washer fluid to that, to where you're using almost straight windshield washer fluid, or with this situation, I can simply add a little more alcohol to my solution bottle, and I can now creep up on where I need to be to keep that from freezing. So instead of having to put a lot of alcohol in a larger container, like the bucket, I can put a little bit more alcohol in a smaller container, and that means my, my expenditure on alcohol is much cheaper than if I'm just buying gallon after gallon after gallon of windshield washer fluid. Now, I know some companies are bigger, they go through a lot of it, but the, you know, I, I'm hard pressed to see where there's a huge savings, more than a few hundred bucks over a season, to doing it the other way and having your guys just adapt to a different way of doing it. But for us, this works really well. Uh, you could do the same thing with any alcohol, methanol, if you, if you choose to use that. It's the same principle. You just add a little bit to that. Uh, or if you're one of those guys that say, hey, I need more than, than what this little solution bottle can fill, then you could add a little to your bucket as an option and carry a bottle of concentrate, just, just straight alcohol on you. And when you get those situations where your solution is not working anymore, now you can simply add direct alcohol right to your strip washer to beef that up. So that's, that's another option. So that's why we choose to use it that way. Those are some of the benefits to using isopropyl and uh, hopefully you found that helpful. And uh, we'll see you guys out on the forums. Thanks.